Welcome to Math TV with Professor V. It's Saturday, November 12th, 2022. Here's the integral of the day. I dug this one up and really liked it because it requires a couple of different integration techniques. So we have antiderivative of 1 over x plus x rad x dx. To start off, I'm going to factor a radical x out of the denominator. And why did I think to do that? Because experience and whatnot, playing around with things. So if I factor out rad x from x, then I'm left with a rad x. And then taking out rad x from the second term in the denominator leaves me with just an x. What's the point of doing that? I'm getting ready to make a u substitution. Um, so we're going to let u equal square root of x. That means du is 1 over 2 rad x dx. And notice I have 1 over rad x dx, just not 1 over 2 rad x dx. So that means 2 du is 1 over rad x dx. And that matches exactly what I see in my integral right there. So I'm ready to rewrite things in terms of u now instead. And you might say, wait a minute, but what about this plain old x? I get that u is rad x, but remember that means u squared is just equal to x. So my new integral in terms of u, let's put the two outside. I love doing that. Put the constants outside. And then the dx over rad x, that's my du. And then in the denominator, rad x becomes u, and then just x is u squared. Hmm. <laughs> well, what to do with this? 1 over u plus u squared. That's not some known antiderivative. What we're going to do is, yes, partial fraction decomposition. So we've got, let's do that off to the side right now. Let's consider... 1 over, I can take a u out from the denominator, and I'm left with 1 plus u. And so both of those are linear factors, not repeated. So the decomposition would have the form a over u plus b over 1 plus u. Lovely. Let's multiply through by u, 1 plus u. And then now I have 1 equals a times 1 plus u plus bu. Okay, 1 equals a plus au plus bu. Let's see here. The coefficients of u to the first. On the left-hand side, I don't have any. So that must equal a plus b. And then constants, 1 has to equal a. So then that tells me, all right, well, b is negative 1. And then back to our integral at hand. Remember, we have a 2 sitting out front. And then now I have a over u, so 1 over u. b is negative 1, so I'm going to write minus 1 over 1 plus u du. And then... Both of these antiderivatives involve natural log. You should be able to just directly anti-differentiate from here. So 2 times natural log absolute value of u minus natural log absolute value of 1 plus u plus c. And then we can definitely combine both of these natural logs into a single logarithm. So I'm going to write this as natural log absolute value u over 1 plus u plus c. And no, we're not done. Remember, we made a change of variables. The original integral was all in terms of x's, and we had let u equal rad x. So now we have 2 natural log absolute value rad x over 1 plus rad x plus c. And if you take a second to think about it, we know rad x can never be negative. Okay, so the absolute values are abs actually absolutely unnecessary. <laughs> it's not wrong if you leave them, 
but since they're not necessary, I'm going to rewrite this as rad x over 1 plus rad x plus c. Since I have no fear that the argument of the logarithm is going to be negative. We're in the clear. So that concludes the integral of the day. I hope you liked it. I really enjoyed this one. And I hope everyone has a lovely weekend. My nephew's coming for a sleepover, so we're all very excited for that. And stay tuned, guys. I'll have more videos coming your way soon. Subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed the integral of the day. And if you want to see more content from me, you can always catch me on Instagram and TikTok at Math TV with Professor V. Take care.